you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new. Made possible only through years of research, invention, and innovation. Cliche, g'day folks, and welcome to my next episode of World in Asia. I am so sorry that I haven't uh, done another episode in a little while, but it's been crazy busy with, as you can see, the chest behind me. It's officially Christmas. You may be watching this six months from now, so it would confuse you as to what the heck those items are behind me. Uh, but yeah, that's the uh, the quick Mojang Christmas change of the chests. Uh, so let's get on with the next episode, shall we? Uh, if you remember from last episode, we started building a farm over yonder. Uh, one uh, one part of the quests, I guess you would say, is to have a working farm for all of the animals. So I did start it. And look at that, we get some zombie flesh. Ha <laughs> ha. It's still not that well lit up around this area yet. So there are uh, the bad guys still spawning on the lids of the jars. But... Seeing as I did do farming this last week, it was last week, wasn't it? Uh, I have a different theory for today's episode. Now, I do have plenty of cobble. I would like one of, one of two things, actually, to either make my way over to the cobblestone jar that you can't see because my render distance is down. There you go. You can see it when I don't look at it. So that cobblestone jar right on the left-hand side there, I'll, I'll stick a little arrow there. Actually, it looks like mossy cobble, which is amazing. Um, I do love mossy cobble. Or to go down to the... Let me just... You know what? I can do it right now. I want to go... Boom, boom, boom. Just in case I end up going to both. Um, and I can get rid of those fancy bits now as well. That was just from the farming. I don't need that. I don't need that. Okay. Uh, yeah, the second one was to go over to the nether jar. Uh, I did get a little bit of a helping hand last week, I believe, from one of my good friends, uh, stating that the there are only two pieces of sponge uh, in this game. Why have I got no food? I'll deal with food later. Uh, uh, one of them I have found. That was in the um, starter chest, starter jar, in this one. And the other one is over here in the nether jar. So let us make our way across to the nether jar. Because I know where it is. And it'll be really easy. Boom, boom. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's just stick those there and there. Beautiful. I can get some glowstone as well. Yay. Glowstone. And look at that. Look at that. We has sponge. I was so positive that there was sponge in every single one of the jars, but uh, clearly without it being in that water jar, then no, I must be wrong. So boom, 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 and there we are. I'm going to leave that one because that drops straight down to the lava. But while we are here, let me just see. Can I get rid of that one without harm? No, not really. Yes, while we're here, let's go down to, boom, oh, I just stepped into darkness. Hang on, there's lightness, darkness, lightness. What is, oh, that zombie pigman spawner. Ah, oh, I was hoping for like a blaze spawner. That's a little disappointing actually, because, I mean, without the blazes, what am I supposed to do with these little guys? I don't want to hurt them. I like zombie pigmen. They're lovely. They come and visit through my nether portals. Oh, bless. Let's just see. Let's just see what else we've got down here then, shall we? Hey, buddies. How many of you guys can I get to spawn in one jar? Oh, I don't want you to fall off the edge, though, because I think you're still quite stupid, aren't you? There we go. They still possibly could, but... What's going on? What's going on, boys? Hey? Let's get some netherrack. Because I'm feeling it. I'm feeling some netherrack. What are you doing? Wouldn't that be funny if I whacked one and they all just start coming at me? Ah, idea. I wonder if one of the quests is to grow nether wart. 
I shall mine that soul sand just in case. There might be a hollow area. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. There we go, folks. Challenge accepted. Oopsie. Didn't mean to do that. Let's just get rid of that and put that back. Sorry. Yes, challenge accepted. Let's see if we have a hollow area down here. Down here. That has... Stop it. That has some... Um, hollow? No. That has... Oh, lava. Any nether wart? Oh, not a good idea. Better. They are noisy little buggers, aren't they? Oh, that's the way to lava, isn't it? That's a bit silly. And again. Hmm. Glowstone. Glowstone, glowstone, glowstone. What? What? I wonder why there's glowstone here. Curious. Curiouser and curiouser. Um, so just while I'm doing this, folks, a few little pieces of information. As you know from my episode 9 of my survival series, if you did catch it, that I am starting a co-op survival with Hey Apple. Um, the other day, just to digress a touch, but still on the same subject, I started recording episode 10 of my survival series. As promised in episode 9, I wanted to start enchanting. So to get the enchanter achievement, uh, I built a enchant table. And of course, with that comes the librarian en enchantment as well. Uh, I needed bookshelves to start the ball rolling. Now, my problem was my recording software had a hissy fit and basically deleted uh, episode 10 of my survival series just after it had been recorded. So, my question to you guys is, seeing as I am doing Weld in a Jar, I'm also doing... Skyblock. I have my co-op survival series with Hey Apple. I'm also getting involved with Noddy 88's uh, mega co-op survival on his server, which is that's that'll just be filmed on his part because that's his that's his baby, which is a lovely idea. My thing to you guys is, shall I scrap my own survival series? Because at the moment it seems like my channel is mega survivals in this that and the other and I need variety to be completely honest I need variety and I don't believe by doing what I'm doing at the moment I am giving you guys enough variety so yeah I pose that question to you shall I scrap my personal survival series uh, you will be seeing the co-op with hey apple coming up in the next couple of days I believe and there's absolutely nothing down here is there uh, let me just take this soul sand because I want it. Oh, it went down. That's all right. This jar must be more shallow than my personal jar because I had three levels on that one. This just seems to be the two. So post in the comments below, guys, because um, I, I basically have no episode 10. I'm going to have to skip straight past episode 10. And if I do record something, um, I'll have to do an episode 11 with an explanation as to why there's no episode 10. I'm feeling scrapping, um, but we'll see if you guys, what you guys have to say about that. Okay. So there's another achievement got. I got the sponge from that jar. And if it comes to finding some nether warts somewhere, I've got some soul sand. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get some netherrack smelted because I've got a feeling that actually may even be one of the achievements is to uh, is to smelt some netherrack. Only 30 at this point, so let's just get rid of this. This, this, this and this. Uh, carrot needs some food, so that's okay. Farm's coming along nicely, folks. As the sun goes down, I might take a quick pause. 
and meet you back in the morning with plans to head over to the cobble jar. Okie dokie my dears, as you can see the rain started pretty much as soon as I paused the uh, camera just a moment ago. Uh, so I started building the bridge across here because it was night time as well so it was pretty much perfect timing. As I mentioned the plan was to go over to this solid mossy cobble bottle or jar. Uh, but when I got to my little cross section here, and there comes, so you can see the two new ones in the distance there. That one over the left is the villager jar I believe and to the right we have the... Uh, uh, the jungle. Uh, so yes, I got here and I started building my way across this way. Uh, boom, boom, place, place, place. Can you see what I see? Can you see what I see from here? Let me make it easier. See that? Okay, so we obviously have more than the two um, sponge. I'm not quite sure why there isn't one in the... I just put this here because there's chickens. I didn't get so far, I didn't look in. You can see there's still smooth stone. I haven't cheated that much. I might actually just pop that back because uh, I've got the chicken. You know what? Balls to it. If he runs away, he runs away. So, I've gotten... There it is. Look at that. Look at that. I wouldn't have even bothered looking. So, sponge piece number three. Cha-ching! Sponge number three. Now, shall I... I am supposed to make a spruce forest. Which means I'll be expanding the forest that, uh, or the farm that I've got over on my own personal jar. Let's just hope I get some saplings from this. Come on, sapple. Don't be a sap. Uh oh. It doesn't know. Come on, man. Not one. Uh oh. No saplings. Oh well. Now I'm not going to make any kind of mistake like last time. I'm just going to double check. Make sure there isn't a sneaky chest. No, maybe there'll be some lava up here or something. Straight up and out. There's nothing there. That's all right. It was it was worth a try anyway. So sponge piece number three has been got. Bloody lovely. Okay. Shut up, you two. Nothing but trouble, chickens. Seriously. Let's just block them in because, uh, you know, chickens suck and all. There we go. Very, very quickly, very quickly. Uh, as I was building over, there were some mobs over here in this desert jar as well. I just popped my head in quickly to see what was going on. Ah, oh, they dropped me some bones, but they've gone. Dang. Oh, well. Let's get a cacti farm going. Be nice to get some. Isn't that funny? The piece of... Uh, huh. Uh, nice to get some shears is what I was saying, so I could get some of these dead plants, but that's okay. What do you think, guys? A bit of a successful episode, this one. Two pieces of sponge, a little bit of an explanation on my survival series, which is what I did really want to tell you guys about. And it looks like next episode, we're going to be heading over to the cobble jar, hopefully over to the uh, jungle biome as well. And uh, I've got a feeling, I'm going to have a bit of a Google, but I've got a feeling that the cobble jar is the maize jar. Uh, as I mentioned last episode, it does state that any jars that are not see-through, so any solid jars, must be entered from the under underside, from the underneath. So, yeah, guys, this has actually been a lot more successful than I thought it would be. Remember to leave any comments below about my survival series. Um, and any other suggestions that you may have um, as to what to do next. I do. I really do want to go to that uh, mossy cobble jar, though. So we still we still have to secure this area for mobs over here because it is still too dark, uh, and uh, and start those animals breeding. We've got some wheat happening over here, so we can start that. I'm gonna need to kill a lot of zombies to try and uh, breed the piggies over there, but that's okay. We'll find a good jar. I reckon the, uh, you know what, the villager jar would probably be the best idea to do that because, uh, well, 
I reckon if it's anything like an NPC village, we're going to be getting lots of zombies spawning there to try and kill my buddies anyway. So that's it for the episode today, guys. Oh, that's my back. <laughs> that's it for the episode today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. I am going to be continuing this series on. And uh, remember, or at least don't forget, to say good day to your neighbour. Thank <laughs> you.